Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Familiar Travels with your host Fallen Wolf. Ow! <clears throat> so, I am excited to get back into this series. If anybody doesn't know, I really love this visual novel. I am excited to keep going with Mocha's route. Last time we left off now last time we left off on Mocha's route. Um we found out a little more about uh Mocha. She apparently is not the simple, strong, and confident warrior princess that we all know and love, uh, or at least as many pe as many people in the Familiar Travels Discord like to emphasize. Um, I really am starting to enjoy Mocha too. I really do enjoy her personality. I enjoy a character like this who is not as who is not exactly what they appear to be. In a more po in a positive way though. I mean, um, Mocha is very down to earth. Um, she is very insecure. She is worried about what other people think of her but she's like almost like the big sister though she's almost like the big sister though where she's always helping other people but she's still unsure of herself she's unsure of her place in this new world and i think all of us can relate to that to some i think all of us can relate to that in some degree throughout life so i really do enjoy mocha for more than just you know the big you know the, for more than just the big chunk of dunkers you know she has personality so i like it so we're gonna be keep going with Mocha today. We should be finishing up her chat. We should be finishing up her route in chapter one or volume one, as I believe it's called. Um, I'm gonna leave out the cabal meeting. I did want to ask a question. I am curious. I'm curious to see if people would like to see me reread the cabal meeting because I do know perhaps some people really are interested in the post route, which is perfectly fine. You know, he's just gonna come. He's just not gonna sell anything to you. A demonically bound book. Who knows? You know it's Poe. We don't know. So, um, so you know, so like, if you are interested in seeing me do the Cabal meeting, put down in the comments below. I will reread the Cabal meeting. I really enjoyed this VN, so I don't mind repeating lines. It's very fun. It's a fun visual novel to do lines for. So I'm perfectly fine redoing it. But as of this episode, we're gonna finish up with. Day 7, Night 7, Mocha, uh, Mocha's Path, and then I'm going to end the video. So this video shouldn't actually be that long. It should be pretty short. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, uh, so far the main plan, I'm going to keep going with FT for the channel. The main plan for the channel, uh, keep going with Familiar Travels, finish up everyone's route and do the true ending. Um, we're going to keep going with, uh, well, I can't, uh, four letter word, I'm going to keep going with... I really enjoy Four Letter Word. I'm gonna keep going with that. Uh, extra cracker. Um, somebody did comment to me yesterday asking when I was gonna get back to Adastra. I am going to try very hard to get back into Adastra. I'm gonna try very hard to live stream Adastra sometime this week. Good news is the save file for that for some reason wasn't changed, so it's still the same save file left off on. I do want to apologize if I haven't seen like I've been very interested in Adastra. Last episode, I got really pissed off because they contradicted themselves very heavily. And playing through it, I don't think it's a bad visual novel. But I don't think it's as good as some people make it out to be. I do love Amicus. I don't... Amicus is a weird one. I know this is Familiar Travels and they're like, hey, they're like, hey, what are you doing? We want to see more Familiar Travels. We want to see more of Mocha's Badaka Chans. Let me finish, please. You know this channel, I like to discuss things. And I just want to discuss them. So, yeah, so, uh, like, Amicus is a character that I see people either love or hate. For me, he's okay. I like him a lot, but I do understand people who dislike him, what their issue is with him. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into that in this video, but, like, yeah, like, I think it's an okay visual novel. Do I think it's overhyped? Yes. Do I think that most of the praise is because of the art? Absolutely. I think most of the praise is because the art is amazing. I think the, the artist haps... Haps is a wonderful artist. I think they have a very unique style that is very well done. And um you know, I I give them praise for their art or their artwork. I do think though that's a big, you know, that's a a big um I do think that's a big appeal of Adastra though. Because I just feel like but like I said, I might be surprised. I, I might finish it and I might be surprised. I might change my opinion, but right now it's just more I don't know. It's not terrible, but it's it's hard to it's hard to describe but anyway we're gonna keep going with this so everyone sit on down and we're going to continue with mocha 
but yeah so uh dash i'm gonna try to do sometime later this week extra correct activities my save files are going so i have to restart that which is fun and chemo coliseum and the thing is with chemo coliseum is it has combat so that means i have to redo all the fights again and try to remember what i had last time which uh, but we will get to it i will do my best to hopefully get back to that chemo coliseum is probably one of my uh, Kimo Coliseum is a fun, interesting visual novel for me, and also a lot of people seem to enjoy it. If you need an example, here's an example right in the video. Over 3,000 for that last video. Granted, it was mostly because of the sex appeal, but still, over 3,000. That's my biggest video on this channel. 3,000 views, sorry. That's the biggest, that's the, the biggest, most viewed, you know, uh, video on my, this channel. But anyway, enough of that. Let us continue on with lovely mo- Mocha. An earthy scent hits my nostrils as I enter Sinti's room. It smells a lot like skunk mixed with pine needles. That's not all that bad. Oh shit, hey dude, you made it! Quick, I have the pipe set up for you and everything. Come take a hit! You said I was getting the next hit. You were being disingenuous as hell. Relax, Mocha. Obviously I'm gonna let Hero take the next hit. They just arrived! I mean, Mocha can go first if she wants. How kind. Hand it over, Sitsi. Hero's words. Sitsi rolls her eyes, giving the pipe to Mocha. I take a seat. I would never see Mocha being the person that wants to smoke weed. I just don't see it. I mean, again, I know it's stereotype. Maybe she's surprised. She's even so, a real person. She just doesn't seem like the kind of person that would do drugs. Then again, my opinion on weed is it should be legal in, in the whole country because the benefits all far outweigh the disadvantages and risks. But... That's me, not gonna get into politics today. Well, well, it goes to them after you, Mocha, no hogging. What have you been up to today, Sitsi? Oh, nothing really, I was studying, but like, I wanted to spend some time with you guys, you know? You know, one day I'd love to bring my friends back to Jotunheim to show them some things. Wouldn't that be cool, guys? Oh, I don't know, not with all the fighting and stuff, that sounds a little much, right, Hero? Oh no! See, I, Mocha, uh, Mocha is trying to be more than this person that seen, that enjoys fighting, and Tinsy just brought it up again. Granted, I don't know if Tinsy knows about it, but uh, like you said, I can tell this route is all about stereotypes, all about that people are more than their stereotypes. Well, it's not all, it's not all like that. I th I think it would be fun, Mocha. The pipe comes to me. Sitsi leans forward to help light it, and I suck in a deep breath, exhaling slowly. Within a few moments, I feel a tingling sensation in my body, and my heart starts feeling a bit lighter. Nice one! Everything okay, Mocha? Sitsi and I gaze over towards Mocha. She seems to be deep in thought. Eventually, she pipes up. I think that's definitely enough for me. I'll be headed home now. Would you like to come, Hero? Oh, what? They just got here! What's so scary about letting us hang out together? <sighs> Sorry, Sitsy. This is Mocha's route. We're gonna be going with Mocha. Even though a lot of people, to my surprise, like Sitsy. But I think more people like Mocha because when I did the. Re <clears throat> because when I did the. You know, like I said, when I did the vote for the next route, which I'm gonna also be doing for the next mail route I do, a lot of people with Mocha. I only had like two for Sitsy. I had like six or seven for Mocha. And I think I had one or two for Kenshi. Yeah, alright. I won't make you guys stay if you aren't feeling the vibe. I'll see you around. Bye, Sitsy. Bye, Sitsy. Thanks for the night. Yeah, thanks, Sitsy. Catch you later. Mocha and I make our way out of the building, and I turn to her exponentially as we walk together back to her dorm. I just... I don't know. Sitsy's really sweet, but I can't shake this feeling that something is not right. Do you know what I mean? I guess I know the feeling, yeah. Plus, that stuff she gives us, it always leaves me feeling kind of weird. Uh, I think that's kind of the point. Well, I usually don't feel that way until after the thrill of a battle. We both go silent for a moment. I'm not sure where Mocha's going with this, but I hate seeing two friends getting into drama. Me too. She just reminds me of all those princesses back in Jotunheim. The ones I never got along with, not one bit. Maybe you two just need to get to know each other more. I mean, if you had stayed. Trust me, I know her well. Very well. 
well, alright. I guess I'll keep that in mind then. Thank you, Hero. I'm glad I can trust you with things like this. Your words are safe with me, Mocha. Was that all you needed? Yes, that's all. I guess I better get some sleep now that I'm actually here. Enjoy the rest of your night, Hero. Thanks, Mocha. You too. I briskly exit the room, closing the door carefully behind me. Thinking about what Mocha said, I guess I can understand the two sides. I'd like to hear more from the both of them, though. I'm, I'm, I am still curious about Sitsi's route, though, because Sitsi, Sitsi, I don't know. Sitsi's issue, I don't know what her issue is. I don't know what, what her, her, her uh, issue is going to be. For Poe, for Poe, it was... Poe, Poe's issue was he, Poe's issue was he wasn't able, he wasn't, he didn't, he didn't open himself up to other people. Like, he didn't open himself up to other people, and that was a big issue for him. And, you know, the few... And whenever somebody tried to correct him, he got pissed. He would get pissed off about it, or he would brush it off. <clears throat> big, big plans tomorrow. Don't just seem to be lost in thought. I better leave them be. All right, and that's the end. Oh, that's the end of night seven for her. Okay, we're going to save here. <clears throat> day eight. Okay, this will be the last part. I said day seven and night seven. I forgot about day eight. They must be here for something truth-related. I gesture to them, but they slip away into a doorway. I follow discreetly. Hey, it's Cash. We haven't seen Cash in a little bit. We haven't seen Cash in a little I like Cash. I kind of like Cash. I like Cash's prankster vibe. Even though, from the last episode, he can take it a little bit too far. It wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with the truth front. The attitude around Vanaheim is getting more and more strange, and it would be nice to get an update. Plus, I'm sure if Cash or Mocha were anywhere, they'd probably be there. I think I remember seeing some sort of meeting center on the wall of the truth front, and there's one this morning. On my way to the truth front hideout, I run into Cash, who's vibrating with excitedness. Hero, hero! Uh, yeah? Dude, you know what it, you know what it is today? Friday? No! Well, yes, but it's also... Drum roll, please! <clears throat> I hesitant, hesitantly start drumming my fingers together. Mission day! Huh? Oh, I guess I shouldn't yell that, huh? Probably not. Okay, well, do you wanna- Well, do you wanna come with me? <laughs> oh my... And that's where I was on my way towards. No way! Okay, cool. Well, don't worry. Just because I'm basically a super spy now doesn't mean I'll forget my humble beginnings as Cash, Hero's friend. We're still friends. Sure, but now you're like Q. You have any cool gadgets? Ah. Uh, I look down at my phone. Nothing really. Dang. Well, you could be my plucky sidekick who tethers the line between satirical and offensive. I don't really like that stick. Yeah, you drive. You drive a hard bargain. I'll let you be the new recruit who's learning the rope from the grizzled super spy veteran. Hell yeah. Nice, let's roll. Good to see you could make it, hero. Yeah, uh, I'm allowed to be here, right? Of course, you're a member! <clears throat> I look over at Cash, he's, he's giddily vibrating. Okay, it's everyone here who's going to be. Do you guys think Poe is coming? Everyone laughs a little bit. Haha, <laughs> Poe actually doing something for this route? <laughs> I want Poe back. I miss Poe. <laughs> right, I'd... Right, I'd like to... See, oh, oh, hold, on, hold on. Right, I'd like to see that happen. I asked, I asked him about it. He said he had better things to do. He told me he was planning a scavenger hunt. Oh no, Mocha, don't bring up the scavenger hunt! Oh, my poor boy Frappy, don't bring up the scavenger hunt. No, no, I'm having flashbacks to that episode. Oh, remember when, remember when Poe and Frappy were fighting? I was like, no! I was like, Frappy, Poe, stop! So he's obviously not showing up. I feel as if we can start. Yeah, yeah, fine, let's go. People are waiting. Jesus, Murphy, chill out. No, I'm not chilling out. Not until this is finished. All of it. Murphy, come on. Outnumbered, Murphy backs down. Alright, so Cash, 
you and Mocha will be going on a mission together today. Wait, what? You said that I had my own mission today. Cash pouts a little bit all. It's your first mission, so you should have a chaperone. I'm not, I'm not some kid. I don't need someone to look after me. Taj! Taj whimpers. Can we not drag this meeting on any longer? Sorry, sorry, Murphy. Alright, so earlier this week, I heard word of a particularly nasty wizard in the higher-ups of the council's nameless. They had started a program at the school to groom familiars for servitude. Yuck. That's a weird, that's a weird way to describe that, like, oh, like, uh, apparently the school's debating on turning, uh, stu some of their students into familiars, and, and I hear it's just like, ew, that's, ew, that's the garoni, ew, that's the garoni. It gets, it gets worse, since people are going missing, and the council is becoming more bold, his treatment of familiars has gotten worse. Worse like how? Giving them extra homework? Cash chuckles to himself. The room is Cash, come on! I damn it, and I actually smiled. I didn't laugh, but I like I got like a small smirk from that. Come on, Cash, this is serious. Cash, not now. Not like extra homework, Cash. We found a familiar comatose outside of the academy. He was covered in arcade sigils. Burned into his skin. It, yikes. Yikes is right. They are recovering in the infirmary, but they don't show any signs of waking up anytime soon. So if you're so if you've done that already, what's the mission? We've been scurrying the location and witnessed one of the familiars escaping the academy and making a run for it. Okay, well just scurry them and let's go. That's the problem. We don't know their name or location, so can't lo lock us scurry. We need your empathy to locate them. They're likely feeling incredibly troubled. I understand. I'm on it. It shouldn't be a problem. Good. And Cash, I need you there in case something goes wrong. Can I bring Hero? They're my gadget person. Wait, you make gadgets? So do I. No, Cash just sort of gave me that title. Oh, he looks a little disappointed. Aww. Also disappointed as well, Rock. I would, I would still like to go, though. Murphy sighs. Yeah, fine. Whatever. And Cash... Yep. Take this seriously. People's lives are at stake. Cash gulps. Yep, sure. No, sure. No silliness. Cash turns to me and winks. I'm sure this can't be good. Cash! Alright, let's start at the library. It's quiet there, and I should be able to center my energy there and track them down. Let's do this, but before we go, we need a team name. No. <clears throat> no. No team names. But Somebody is at risk. We don't have time for your games, Cash. We'll see about that. Oh, they're fighting already. Oh, they're already fighting. Again, we know where this leads up. We know where this leads up to. We know this leads up to Mocha be like, Wham! Pow! Right in the ki- Right in the kisha! Like, bam! Pow! Pow! Right in the kisha! So, you can use your empathy to track people? Sort of. I can detect emotions, and with enough focus, I can locate it. Is it like some kind of magic vision? Not really, no, it's more like a general sense. Like spider sense. Oh, Spider-Man! Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. I was about to say villain, and I was going to hate myself for it. Uh, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. I love Spider-Man. I hate spiders, and I hate bugs in general, but I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man is easily my favorite superhero, period. Not just Marvel or DC, favorite superhero, period. I love Spider-Man so much. Just kind of sad what they've been doing to him lately, but... You know, that's comics. Comics have been going downhill heavily lately, over the past few years. Uh, I don't think so. What is that? You know, the comic book Spider-Man Part Man, Part Spider. That sounds terribly terrifying. Oh, wait, that sounds terribly terrifying, I was about to say. That sounds terrifying. No, it's... Never mind. Well, I would like to understand. Man, forget it. It's comic book stuff. You wouldn't understand. I could get into comics. I could be a comic -er. Good. Oh my gosh. They're fighting already. We just started the mission. I can tell this is... Uh, are we going to get hints about like them not getting along with each other? Well, I can already tell. Kaz likes to joke a lot, but sometimes... I think sometimes he takes a little bit too far, and Mocha tends to be... I, I And Mocha is not for that. Mocha is very, you know... She tries to exude a calm and confident demeanor. 
Oh, look, we're here. We arrived at the library. As expected, the inside is empty and quiet. Oh man, remember that break I pulled in here a while back? The one where you let out a huge burst of magical energy and attracted dangerous people here? Uh, well, when you put it like that... It sounds like an action movie. Uh, just, everybody clear your minds. I can't have cluttered minds in my proximity while I'm doing this. How do I unclutter my mind? Just count backwards from ten. I begin counting in my head. Visualize a small block... Visualize a small black box in your mind. I listen. I see Cash close his eyes, and I follow suit. Imagine it slowly growing larger and larger. The more I listen to Mocha, the more and more relaxed I become. And now... God damn it, Cash! Aw, oh, what did Cash do? I hear Cash snickering and open my eyes. What ha What happened, Mocha? Happened to spell wrong. <laughs> I can't be I can't believe that actually worked! Cash must have thought it would be funny to imagine as many things as they could. Cash! Come on, man! Mocha clutched the side of her head. Calm down, it was just a joke. The situation is not, though, Cash. Seriously. Hero, what do you think? Yeah, Cash, I mean, we should try and help this person. Aw. Okay, now see. See, Cash is upset because nobody's laughing. It's like, wait, this is a serious moment. Cash looks down, he looks embarrassed. Yeah, you guys are right. Sorry. Just don't let it happen again. It's okay, though. I think I know where they are. Where? I'm picking up a lot of fear. A lot at the Vanaheim Academy. It's so loud I can't hear anything else. I think we should go there. Do you seriously think that we should just, what, walk into the Vanaheim Institute? Well, I mean, we are students. What's so weird about walking in there? Well, well let's hear her. Well, I mean, I mean, we are students. What's so weird about walking in there? Precisely. Yeah, okay, I'm on board. We can go. Great, Cash. I'm glad I finally got your approval. I guess we can go in that case. Jeez, what's gotten into you? Oh, maybe it's that you've been a total shithead the whole day. This isn't some joke. At this point, we're wasting more time giving me shit than I wasted joking around. You f- Oh my gosh, they're really fighting. I hate it so much! I mean, it's realistic, but I hate it so much! I was upset with Poe and Frappy fighting, now I've got to deal with Mochin uh, fighting with- fighting with Cash. Ah, that's good water. Mocha stops for a second. <sighs> Mocha storms off on her way towards the academy. Cash and I stop for a second, a uh, little shocked. Quickly following behind. Mocha's traveling away ahead of us, and while she's walking, I can almost feel the ground quake. Her already heavy steps made pronounced by her aggressive stomping. Man, what's her deal today? I mean, Cash, you've been pretty disruptive. I mean, I mean, that's me though. Classic Cash. Yeah, I guess, I guess. She knew that before inviting me out here, that I was going to be silly and joke around. I'm not really wasting all that much time. They're already been missing a couple of days, what's another 15 minutes to lift morale? Well, Cash, I think that's the problem. Okay? It's not lifting morale, it's making Mooch upset. Yeah, I meant it's lifting my morale. This is pretty scary. When I was at the library, I couldn't clear my mind at all. I wasn't even pranking anybody. My mind was racing and I couldn't turn it off. Why didn't you tell Mocha that? I'd rather her think that I know what I'm doing than I don't. What if they kick me out? I guess. Okay, see? Cash, you sh yeah. So, Cash wasn't even purposely trying to be disruptive with his with the mind thing. It was he's so nervous about this. But, uh, I understand you being worried about them kicking you out, but Mocha, you see how, what kind of person Mocha is. I think if you would have came, I think if you would have came to Mocha outright and said, hey, you know, you're nervous, I think she would have tried to comfort you. But instead, he's, uh, because I guess, because I guess Hubert for Cash is like his shield, I would call it. Mocha turns around, raising her voice so we can hear her. We're here. Cash, consider apologizing. Good idea. That way she won't be so mad at me. That really shouldn't be your motivation. I tried to tell Cash, but he's already ran forward. I joined them. Oh, I haven't heard this track since the since the intro. Cause we, I've only seen, I've only seen the classroom in the intro. So, 
travel to the lecture hall and stand at the top row, looking for anything suspicious. Hey, hey, Mocha? Yes. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I was nervous. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're all good. I'm still upset, but thank you for apologizing. Cash looks disappointed. What? I mean, I appreciate you apologizing is all. Yeah, okay. But it doesn't just erase what you did. Doesn't it? That isn't how apologies work. You need to follow it up by action. You can't just... Apologize because I'm upset. W what? Apologize more genuinely and then we can discuss it. For now, can we please just finish this mission? Uh... Cash looks totally dumbfounded. As if this is the first time an apology hasn't gone his way. Okay, I need to concentrate. I can feel a huge amount of energy coming from here. I just need to open myself up to it. That'll give us a beat on the familiar. Mocha closes her eyes, trying to focus on the energy coming in. I can sense more than one presence. Oh god. Ah! Mocha clutches her head. She appears to be in total agony. Help us, help! Don't leave, don't leave us, no, no! Mocha, what's going on? Help us, help! I'm petrified just to hear those words coming from Mocha. Mocha, come on, let's get out of here. Don't leave us, please, we're trapped, don't leave! Mocha seems totally unresponsive and immobile. Okay, hero, come on, let's move her out of here. Seriously, move Mocha? Okay, uh... Cash appears to be panicking. Okay, 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 I know I shouldn't. Cash! My vision is consumed by green light and instantly we're out of the academy and are in town square. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I just teleported us in the middle of town! I can see a few people looking at us, Mocha is slowly regaining her ability. Wha- where are we? I'll explain in a second, Mocha, we need to get somewhere safe. Oh, okay. Mocha moving slowly is held up by Cash and I, we stumble into Poe's shop. Poe, close the doors! Ah, uh, what? Oh, oh, by the way, it's Poe! Hello, Poe! Oh, I missed you! I missed you since the last route we did! Hello there, Poe! Ah, what? Uh, uh, okay. Poe closes the doors and locks it. What's going on? I don't- I don't know! We were just trying to locate a familiar that went missing and Mocha just started freaking out! There... we're... Okay, ah! Mocha, it's alright, you're somewhere safe now. The fam the familiars. Oh, oh ah, why did I do that? I, I skipped it. No, there isn't enough time. I have to do something about this. Mocha, it's not safe. I had to teleport us out of there. You used your magic again? Seriously? Yeah, yeah, to save you. I was fine. I don't need anybody's help, especially yours. What a total mistake for you to come on this mission. Mocha, why are you being a bitch? Okay, like, Cash, like, maybe he shouldn't have teleported you, but I also, but I mean, he did try to help, and now she's kind of being a bitch about it for some reason. She's like, oh, I don't need anybody's help, Mocha, don't be like that. Uh, if it wasn't for you messing around, I would have found them by now. Drama! I, I was just, I was just trying to help. You're not very good at it. Ooh. Ouch. Mocha begins to walk away. Don't follow me, I can do this myself. Mocha pulls the door open, ripping the lock and slamming it behind her. The glass smashes and lands on the ground. Mocha, wait! Nope! Poe reaches out and grabs Cash's shoulder. I wouldn't follow her unless you want to be a kitsune pancake. Trust me. But Cash, trust me. Something tells me Poe's been in Cash's position before. Damn it, the door! Poe waves his hand and the second door seems to drop in, replacing the first one. What? Cash, let me give you some advice. Okay. Know your audience. Huh? People like you, people like me, we're performers, we talk at people. I always, I always give people time to talk. Dude, the sooner you admit this to yourself, the happier you'll be in the long run. Okay, fine. What's your advice? Know your audience. You don't have to say a act for a comedy club and a funeral home. I don't think I follow. Mocha's the, funer Mocha's the funeral home. You need to tone it down. Be more tasteful. Think about what you're saying before you say it. But I am who I am. That's... 
That's such horse shit. Oh? Don't pull the, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best bullshit. That's just, gah, that annoys me. That's even annoying me. Keep in mind, this is me saying this. Show some respect to the past and personalities of the people you talk to. Recognizing your dick isn't reason enough to be a dick. Poe, you are one to talk. Poe is one to talk. Poe, shut the hell up. I hate you, Poe, so much right now. Poe is right. The fact that it's Poe giving this advice is a little strange to say the least. Yeah, fine. So I'm a performer. Know my audience. Do you get it or are you just hate Do you get it or are you just humoring me? I get it, really. Okay, if you say so. So, I should go find Mocha and apologize. No! Right, not just apologize, but perform. Taz, you missed the whole- You missed the whole damn point! Taz missed the whole damn point, and I- oh. That is- that's- that's- uh, you know what that is, that's- that's very frustrating. Cash vanishes in a puff of green smoke. Do you think you under do you think you understood what you were saying? Not at all. Poe shrugs. Not my circus, not my monkey. Although, what happened to Mocha as my interest peaked? Yeah, that seemed weird, huh? I haven't seen her lose control like that for a very long time. It's happened before? Yeah, when she first got here, just the amount of people in Vanaheim overwhelmed her. It took her a while to get used to it. But we were just tracking one familiar. Weird for sure. We stand in silence for a second. Uh, if I'm being honest, I... Oh, wait. Uh, if I'm being honest, I didn't really want to hang out. Yeah. You guys just sort of stormed in here. Wasn't set up for a Poe episode. I love Poe. He always breaks the fourth wall. I know, Poe. We're done with your route. I have to move on to everybody else's, but I still love you. I still love you. No whimsical antics? Nah, I'm just gonna- I'm just going to the Kapal later. Poe twiddles his thumbs. So, you should probably... Oh, yeah, I'll head out. Sorry. Yeah, I need to get ready. Oh, what am I saying? You probably need to... Yeah, I need to get ready. I start to walk out of the door. Cool trick with the door, by the way. I walk off. Cool. Alrighty. We are... Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Welcome to the Cabal. We will stop here. Travel to the Cabal. Alright. Alright, so we are, um... I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so I mean, that's pretty much, uh... That's pretty much it. For this part. Um, like I said, if people are interested in me doing the Cabal meeting, rereading the Cabal meeting for this part at every, at every route... I'm more than willing to. Like I said, I enjoy voicing this, voice acting this game. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing it, especially Poe's voice. Uh, so I am more than open to. I am more. I am more than open to playing. You know, some more familiar travels. With that being said, though, things are not going well. I can see. Cash and Mocha are not getting along at all. Uh, it's like Poe and Frappy. Now it's Cash and Mocha. Um. Cash tends to take jokes a little bit too seriously, and Mocha is more a person that tries to keep herself calm. I don't agree with her getting mad at Cash. I don't know. I don't really get why she got mad at Cash for teleporting her out of there. Part of me thinks it's more because she's embarrassed to have to need help. That's what I'm getting, but it could be something else. It's not entirely sure, but yeah. Um, I don't understand Mocha being mad at Cash though, because he was kind of joking around, and she's like. You know, somebody's people's lives are at risk, and he's kind of joking around. But now I'm starting to get a little example, a little sample of an insight of Cash's personality. I think Cash is more a very nervous and unsure person, so he, so he hides it outward. He hides it outwardly, wordly with um, humor. So I think that's what it is. But he needs to find time. Like like Poe said, there's there's know your audience. There's a time and a place to joke around, and there's certain people you don't. There's certain people that are not going to take your antics as well as others. Like, Frappy seems to enjoy Cash. As far as I know, Cash and Frappy are probably best friends. But, anyway. That's all I had to say. A little bit of a shorter episode, which I'm sure people don't mind. Uh, a lot of my videos lately have been so long, because I've been going on rants and stuff. I, I do want to calm that down a little bit. 
Um, I do enjoy ha giving my own insight into what's going on, but I do also know that people are here mainly for the visual novel. They are mainly here to enjoy the visual novel. So with that being so with that being said, uh, thank you everyone who watched the video. Please feel free. Uh, I can't wait to see what the next part will bring us with Mocha. Um, things are starting to get interesting. Well, things are already interesting. Like I said, I really enjoy. I really enjoy. I really enjoy how different the dynamic is for the two chapters. Chapter one is more. Chapter one has a more slice of life fantasy vibe, and chapter two goes more in depth into more like serious territory. So, with that being said, though, this has been Fallen Wolf. Arr! And uh, I hope that everyone has a beautiful day. Uh, before I forget, don't feel, feel, uh, do not forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. And uh, feel free to donate to the channel. Like I said, every uh, dollar helps the channel uh, grow. And it helps me know that you enjoy what I'm doing. Even though we have hit over 400 subscribers now. I'm so happy. Thank you so much to everyone. I honestly couldn't have done this without everyone here. I can't believe in about a year we have hit, I have hit 400 subscribers. It's really touching, and I really hope that everyone will stick around when I start doing more besides simple furry visual novels. I couldn't thank everyone enough. And as I've said before, if you really enjoy GC, please buy this, buy this visual novel. It really doesn't cost that much. I believe it's $10 a piece. It's a total of 20 Chapter 1 is 10 and Chapter 2 is 10 So I would highly, highly, highly recommend playing this visual novel. With that being said, though, I'll see everyone next time. Take care of yourself, and I hope, and I, like I said, I hope everyone has a beautiful, gorgeous day. Stay safe out there. Stay fluffy, and don't forget, the Fallen Pack has your back. Take care, everyone. Bye.